When you think about video capture cards, who comes to mind? Blackmagic, Delta, Magewell. They're all relative newcomers compared to AJA, a company that's been designing and manufacturing video solutions in Grass Valley, California since 1993. So I was really excited when OBS added support for AJA capture cards with a release of 27.2. However, these are professional broadcast cards that come with a professional broadcast price. Fortunately, you can pick up an LHI on eBay for around $70. And here it is. This is the AJA Kona LHI. It can do 1080p60, 2K24 in and out over HDMI and SDI, plus a gang of SD formats if you have the breakout cable, which I don't because it's $175. And AJA does not provide a pinout diagram so I can't make my own. And if you don't provide a pinout, well, there's a special place reserved for you in hell, right down the hall from Real Player. All right, let's download some drivers and see if it knows out of Linux. On the driver download page, our adventure begins with two choices, Red Hat RPMs and Ubuntu Debs. Now I'm running Debian 12, so we're gonna use the Ubuntu Debs. I'm gonna give that a click and save it to the AGA folder in my downloads directory. Inside the zip, we're gonna have two dev files one for the driver and one for the AGA software. Let's go ahead and extract those into the AGA directory and open a terminal. Now, before we do anything, we need to install the build essentials, DKMS, and kernel headers. And once that's complete, we'll install the kernel driver using dpackage. Press enter and watch it fail miserably. You see, I'm running Debian 12 and it ships with kernel 6.1 and the driver only supports up to kernel 519. So the correct thing to do is to head over to kernel.org grab a copy of 515 and build it yourself. Or we can play a round of do as I say, not as I do. Because what I'm about to do is head over to my appsources.list, copy my bookworm entry, delete the non-free firmware, and change bookworm to bullseye. Now I'm going to run sudo apt update and install build essentials, DKMS, and kernel 510, along with the kernel 510 headers. And since you are not doing this, I do not need to remind you to go back and delete the app entry for Bullseye after installing the kernel. Once that's complete, I'm gonna reboot the system and select kernel 510 from the grub menu. Back in the AJA directory, we can now run dpackage id star.deb to install both the kernel driver and the software. You'll still get a bad return status for kernel 6.1, but you will see the module has been installed for kernel 510. Now we can open the AJA control panel and squint furiously. At 3840 by 2160, that's as big as it gets. Do better, AJA. Zoom and enhance, and uh, we have everything you would expect to see in a multi-format capture card. Options for your inputs, outputs, conversion, presets, and of course, firmware. The AJA control room looks like a alternate version of Media Express from Blackmagic. You can do basic capture and playback. It's a good way to check that everything is working. Now we need to install the AJA SDK. Let's copy the Git repo and head back to our AJA directory. We need to install Git, and if you're using NVIDIA, the NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit for GCC. Now we can clone the Git repo by pasting the URL we just copied, CD into the NTV2 directory, and make a directory called AJA build, and CD into that. From here, we're gonna run CMake with a build type set to release. Once that's done, we can compile it with Ninja, and install it with sudo ninja install. We need to install the standard gang of dependencies needed to compile OBS. Once that's done, let's clone the Git repo, CD into the OBS Studio directory, and download and extract CEF because we want a working browser. Now we make a build directory and CD into that. Now we can run CMake with all the options that we want included in our build, one of those being AJA equals on. We can see that the AJA support has been enabled. Let's give it a make and turn it into a Debian package using jack install. Now, if you run into this error when launching OBS, just run sudo ldconfig and OBS should start right up. In OBS, you'll now have the option to add AJAIO to your sources. The LHI is currently capturing a 1080p 60 signal over HDMI, YUVA pixel format, and while I don't have the audio enabled, it is there. Under tools, we can take a look at the AJA output options, and this is where you learn that you cannot output from OBS if a capture source is active. That is rather disappointing, considering my consumer grade Intensity Pro 4K does it without issue. Now it's time for a three way between the Kona LHI, Intensity Pro, and a generic USB capture dongle thingy. I'm using the Talos Principle benchmark since it has a good mix of on screen text, foliage, and up close objects. And of course, feel free to pause and pixel peep until your heart's content, but video capture 
is the solved problem in 2023. The AJA and Blackmagic cards are virtually indistinguishable and the USB dongle is borderline serviceable if you're willing to overlook the jacked up contrast and compression artifacts. And there we have it. The AJA Kona LHI technically functions as the 1080p capture card under Linux. Not being able to output while capturing an OBS is going to be a deal breaker for most people, including myself. As for the card, I hope you're the one person who likes mini HDMI and don't think you're going to get away with using adapters. Nay, but it does have SDI, so that's a bonus if it fits into your workflow. And it's an AJA, so not only is it made in the USA, it will probably outlive you, even in the most hostile of environments. You might have noticed, this one's a little melty. Its previous life was a hard one, but you know what? It still works, and AJA has a gang of newer cards that do 4K and 8K, along with a couple of streaming boxes that all support Linux. Granted, AJA hardware is outside the budget of our little production, but it's still really neat to look at. Speaking of budgets, you can increase ours by becoming a patron, like the lovely people rolling by on the screen. Head over there, give it a look. Bunch of bonus things to unlock as a thank you for your support. Like and subscribe, leave questions in the comments, and there will be a link to a step-by-step -step guide to get this critter up and running, linked in the video description.